Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be talking about something in the Bible called the Lesser Light. Now this concept of the Lesser Light is found in many walks of the Occult because um, for one reason, demons, spirits, and occultists derive part of their power from the Lesser Light because the Greater Light, the Sun, represents righteousness from Genesis chapter 1 and the Lesser Light represents unrighteousness. So, this, the lesser light provides, uh, provides a greater uh, potency for spells for cultists and, uh, and for demon spirits, whether it be in a fully possessed host or in the spirit. And, um, the lesser light concept is seen in many, many ancient cultists. I mean, just look at the Islamic flag. You see a crescent moon, you see the counterfeit sun. Right there and then. You see, in um, communism, you see the moon shaped sickle. In uh, Wicca, you see the pagan moon. This occult symbol is in many walks of life and is worshipped by. Millions upon millions of people across the world, some unknowingly and some knowingly. When, whenever we uh, sin, we give strength over to the enemy in combination with the lesser light. Um, they would gain strength from that. In fact, um, demonic hour, kind of to the holy hour that Christ died on, is between 12 o'clock to 3:30 a.m. in the morning. Between those two, between those two uh, times is when the uh, realms are turned down. It's when the demonic presence, as uh, basic demonic presence in the world, is at its uh, most apparent, most noticeable. And let's just say that happens to be that time period, 12 to 3 a.m., and let's say the full moon is out, then, uh, that will further increase your presence in this realm. Meaning they'll be able to fit more physically manifest, but not for long. It takes a lot of energy out of them. Um, where will it depend on, uh, uh, Full moon for strength as well. Uh, vampires, many demons depend on uh, lesser light for strength, and of course sin as well, because that's their main food source. Um, basically, without mankind existing, all that sin food gone. We're talking no mankind at all. That sin food will be gone, and then will be powerless. That's as if men were gone. Source of the sin food is man's sin. Sin is the source of their strength. And they also derive strength from the lesser like the moon. And, um... It's actually in the scriptures. So I'm gonna head over to... Um... Scriptures and... For scriptures on the moon. Genesis 1 16 And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So you got the greater light, the sun, and the lesser light to rule the night. This right there. The, and then take this into accountability. Greater light could also represent remember that. Jesus Christ is the day star, the dawn star. Is not saying Jesus Christ is like the is like the um, sun you see in the sky. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that Jesus Christ that this verse can also refer to Jesus Christ as being the true light, the true light of the world that's come to sa that's come to save man from their sins and bring them to repentance. And then you have the lesser light, i.e., that thing, evil, the devil. And, uh, that represents a lesser light, counter for light, deception, lies. 
So there you go. The greater light that can can represent two things. Represent the sun that you see out here. Not saying to go out and worship the sun. Just saying that you know werewolves or vampires can't be in the presence of the sun that you see out here. Seeing the sky every day. The camera that right there, and then and this is a greater light, and then the less light they could be in that presence because they derive strength from that because of the the, the parable there, you know. You got day, the day star, the, the night, the night star, the false light. Anyway, um, right here. Luke eleven thirty six and our reference if thy ho if thy whole body be full therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole part shall be full of light. And as when the light excuse me, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. So right there and then if your eyes is full of light, that means uh, there's a righteous candle, there's a righteous light shining from within your spirit, Holy Spirit. Means the person's always repenting going to correction. However, if the person has a darkness in their eyes, a false light, like counterfeit candle, that means that they're in sin in some way, shape, or form, and they have sin on them. And also represent that they've completely blasphemed God and that they are, that they have a demon dwelling in their spirit. John eight twelve. Then spake Jesus unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, will not walk in the counterfeit light, the evil, but shall have the light of life. John three nineteen. This is the combination of light is coming to the world, and men love darkness. They love the lesser light. They love darkness rather than the true light, rather than light, because their deeds were evil. John three twenty. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So as first John chapter one verse seven. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. So right then, uh, right there, and then you uh, see that right here, Ephesians five eight. For ye were sometimes in darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. The cultists derive their power, part of the power from the less light, the darkness. And then righteousness comes from the greater light. Righteousness. Psalm chapter 36. Verses 7 through 9. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river. Of thy pleasures. Look at the next verse. For with thee is a fountain of life. In thy light we shall see light. So yeah, you got another reference to the greater light. I right hear Matthew chapter six verse thirty verse twenty to him. Matthew six twenty two. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore then I be single, thy Whole body shall be full of light. Let's look at the next verse. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore that light, see, talking about a light that is in me, be darkness. If therefore the light that is in me be darkness, talking about light that is dark, counter of a light. How great is the darkness. And then the next verse says, No man can serve two masters. I, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. So one represents a greater light, the righteousness. Evil represents a lesser light. 
symbol is. They worship the moon as if it's a god, basically. Luke 11, 34, the light of the body is the eye, therefore when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. When one thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Right here, Isaiah 520, woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. There's many, many universes from to right here. Matthew five fourteen. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on and hill that set on and hill cannot be hid. Matthew five fourteen. Eleven thirty five of Luke chapter eleven verse thirty five. Take heed therefore that the light which is in thee be not darkness. John John chapter eleven verse ten. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth. See that he walketh in the night. He walks in the night. When you walk in the night, you're walking in the last light. You're walking in darkness. He stumbles because there is no light in him. Chapter eleven, verse ten of Book of John. There's many, many, many other verses. Many, many other verses. Isaiah chapter five, verse twenty, talks about. They put darkness for light. They would rather have darkness than have the light of truth. And taking good and calling that was just evil good, and taking e that was just evil, and, t and calling that good. So they would take the evil. What would not call evil? They take evil and call good and call good evil. Don't know reference to the counter of light. Righteous light, the candlestick, the seven spirits of God, Exodus chapter 25 verse 37. And thou shalt make the seven lamps thereof, and they shall light the lamps thereof, that they may give light over against it. The righteous light. Deuteronomy 4.19 Let thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars even all the hosts of heaven should be driven to worship them and serve them which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. Deuteronomy 17 Last one is chapter 4 verse 19 of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 3 And he hath gone and served other gods and worshipped them either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven which I have not commanded. Second Kings chapter twenty three verse five about the lesser light, another reference to the lesser light. And he put down idolatrous priests whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem. Them also that burn incense unto Baal, to the sun and to the moon, and to the planets and to all the hosts of heaven. Anyway, guys, stay away from the occult. You're going to put yourself into a very dangerous position, and you're going to open yourself up to many demons of any type of any kind. You don't know what you're going to be summoning. You don't know what you could be calling. Especially when it's done under a, a full moon, lesser light, and it's between 12 a.m. to 3.30 a.m. That's... Usually, right there, it's the key area where it called us to do the rituals between 12 a.m. and 3.30 a.m. Where the demonic presence is most, is the greatest in the physical realm. We're not trusting the occult. Greater light represents righteousness, the lesser light represents unrighteousness, unholiness, sin.